eight order of the day is a motion on the need to provide training and support for women in politics, standing in the name of Honorable Blessing Chigeru Amade. Honorable Amade is invited to move the motion. My distinguished colleagues, I am Blessing Chigeru Amade, representing the good people of Pochakot, Federal Constituency 2, and Ikure woman from River State. I hereby rise to move a motion on the need to provide training and support for women in politics. The House knows that there are a few women in political and leadership positions in Nigeria with women holding less than 8% of seats in both national and state assemblies. Aware that societal factors such as cultural or religious norms, marriage, indigenship, etc., impede women participation and representation in politics. The full and equitable participation of women in public life is essential to building and sustaining strong and vibrant democracies. Also aware that education is no longer the ability to read, write, and calculate, but the ability to have problem-solving and critical thinking skills necessary to bring about any changes needed. Worried that despite progress in recent years, women remain significantly under represented in political and leadership positions globally, and Nigeria in particular. Also worried that in Nigeria, women don't have equal, equal opportunity and support to serve as political leaders, elected representatives, which is vital to Nigeria's democracy. Cognizant that to bring about any change in this disparity, it will require proactive measures to equip women with leadership skills, resources, and support needed to navigate the political landscape and effectively participate in decision-making processes. The House resolves to A, mandate the committees on women in Parliament and Women Affairs to liaise with the Ministry of Women Affairs and other relevant agencies to, as a matter of public importance, constantly organize trainings, conferences, seminars for women interested in running for political office, especially women in rural areas. The understanding that politics starts from the grassroots. Number two, to mandate the Minister of Women Affairs to designate a department with adequate budgetary provisions to help groom, train, and support women in politics and encourage the inclusion of the role of women in political leadership in our secondary school curriculum. To mandate the Committee on Legislative Compliance to monitor and ensure compliance, I so move. I'm from Kapena State, Mr. Speaker. I rise this afternoon to second the motion uh, ably moved by my sister, Honorable Blazing. I so second. Ah, support our women. Uh, those who support this motion say aye. aye. Those are against say nay. The eyes have it. This feels like a fresh, bit of fresh air. The support the women are receiving. Madam, thank you for raising this uh, motion. I'm happy that the advocacy is going on within the space for gender equality and uh, all this uh, advocacy to strengthen your participation. This motion, you know, goes a long way in supporting this advocacy. Thank you for raising it. The, we also want to sympathize with you. We heard that you had a fire incident in your um, residence. I uh, pray that God will restore all that you have lost. And members will rally around you in, to support you in this uh, trying time. It's amazing the strength of a woman, but despite what you have gone through, you are still standing on the floor of the parliament to project the case of women. This is, this is commendable. The motion is referred to Committee on Women in Parliament, Women Affairs, and Legislative Compliance.